Hi fellow traders, what's happening? I hope you guys had a great day yesterday, a good hump day. I say yesterday because it's already past midnight. I'm a little behind getting the, the video done. Um, took a nap after the class and I didn't wake up for a very long time. So I'm way behind on what I use, I'm doing for today. Um, but the swing trading update, I mean, nothing has really changed. So I'm going to update it tomorrow. I want to see what the market does, if it gives us some excitement tomorrow. And, you know, we'll have something to to, to really work with. Um, but it, everything's been stagnant for this last week. And then we'll go through our watch list and and see what's what but the market has been really really crazy and it's kind of kept our swing trades at bay um, but we'll talk more about that tomorrow but the point I want to get across to you to, tonight is you know patience pays in the market now I know you guys know or have heard the Warren Buffett quote on patience you know, he says the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. And I know and we all know that he was really talking about investing because he's, you know, more of an investor. But that same quote could be applied to day trading as well. You have to have a degree of patience in day trading. Now, you can't run around and chase every stock that's moving. You've got to. Be patient and allow it to set up. You know, another another quote that I've always heard um, is that patience is bitter, but the fruit of patience is sweet. And, you know, I like getting that sweet fruit. You know, it's, um, it's really key. Because honestly, in the market, we don't have to be smarter than everybody else. We don't have to have more money than anybody else. We just need to be more disciplined than everybody else. That, that's all we need. We need to have that discipline. And patience is a big part of that discipline. You know, patience, hard work, willpower, all of these things we, we just, we build on. And it, and it actually you know, helps us get to, to where we want to be. So, you know, we know that impatience and, you know, overreactions and all of that is what we make money off of. So we can't be that person that becomes impatient and overreacts. All right. So, Believe me when I tell you, if you hadn't figured it out yet, patience pays in the stock market. Uh, so look at today. Um, you see the SPY. We opened with a little gap down on the, the five day. We sold a little bit, but we finished the day strong. And it actually ran up to a high of uh 398.39 so we did crack 398 um but we've since pulled back uh, about a point so we're at 397.30 so we're right back to where we closed um in the spot but you know tomorrow's gonna be really interesting the bulls seize control and um made a really nice day of it um, 398 got within, you know, a dollar and 70 cents or so of that $400 target I had in mind for this week. Uh, it's really been good, but the problem is look at how the market traded. This is a five minute chart. Look at it stayed in a channel pretty much all day at two o'clock when the fed news dropped. The bot, I mean, it just, it woke up. So, obviously, everybody was just kind of waiting to see what the Fed was going to do. I didn't expect the market to do this, this time, because everybody knows the Fed has already said what its plan was. 
the last time they met, they told us they weren't going to touch anything, at least in 2021. Today is through 2023. You know, they don't, they said they, they can, you know, they're committing to not making any changes until 2023 and continue to support the economy however it came. Um, we knew that. It, it was already there, but for some reason, everybody was just apprehensive. And then once they reiterated it, the, mark, the market took off. And we, and again, we have held up. So, you know, going in tomorrow, technically, it looks good. Technically, the bulls have control. But we're not going to know again until the market opens and it tells us you know what what we need to do okay so remember you know we don't have to be smart and try to figure things out or predict things or over analyze things the market's going to tell us everything we need to know all we have to do is be patient and listen to it just just kind of wait until it happens and that's the story that you've been seeing play out in my trading pretty much all year and it, it's really it's been my focus since the beginning of of my trading is just trying to be patient and allow things to set up and yeah just like everybody else i get fast i jump ahead i anticipate but as i get deeper and deeper and more years under my belt I become more and more disciplined, more and more patient. It's a process. And, you know, patience really, really pays. So looking at the trades today, first trade out of the gate, I went back to FUTU. Remember, this was the big winner yesterday, the stock that paid me the most. So we went up, we had this big sell candle at the open. I was looking for it to continue to sell off. I figured if it bounced, it will bounce down here. I was looking to grab profit here first. And then if it bounced, fine. If not, I was looking for the rest of the move. Um, but as soon as I got in, it looked pretty decent. It started to sell. And then wham, it ripped back on me. And you can see. This stock pretty much jumped around. So, of course, I've got this on my eye because, you know, revenge is a very, very powerful emotion. I'm looking to, to find an opportunity to get my money back. So, I wasn't comfortable trading it around here. Plus, I was trading something else anyway. Um, but we sold off. We double bottomed here and bounced. And we practically put in another top. So I'm like, at this point, the stock is put in this channel. It's pretty wide. And when you have a stock that has a wide channel like this, it's tradable as long as you have, you know, clean windows of opportunity. Now, if all of these moving averages, if you move this over an hour, I never would have traded this because I would have been trading into all of this mo these moving averages. Here, I had an incredible measured potential from where I would potentially enter to the pre-market low. This was an in incredible measured potential here. Now, if you wanna learn more about or understand more about what I'm talking about, watch the class from today. I talked about managing risk and, and how, you know, if we sit here and try to figure two to one, three to one, four to one, how that completely screws up, you know, our trading a lot. It just adds it to overreaction. If you look for large measure potential and you wait for those stocks to set up, you don't have to worry about anything. All you need to do is lock in profit as the stock works. And if it doesn't work, stop out when you're supposed to and keep going. 
Uh, I do this every day. And I do it live and in color. So you, there's no way you can say it doesn't work. It does. You just As long as you're disciplined, you're consistent, it works. When I have a bad trade, a lot of times it's because I did something wrong. Every now and then we get a trade like this where it just doesn't work. It's just the market conditions. You know, the market just wasn't in a place. It's, it chopped around as we saw. It got into this chop, which could have been predictable. And normally it does on a normal Fed day. But this isn't normal. We already knew what the Fed was going to say. But, you know, it, it acted up anyway. But turned this negative um, into a positive. I don't think I got green on this name. But this was a really nice trade. Um, I didn't get the full move, but I got a couple. And, you know, it turned out to be pretty good. So that was F-U-T-U. Um, B-A-B-A, -B -A. this wasn't on our watch list, but it hit one of the scans. You can see it made a huge opening range breakout. This was as beautiful as you can get. We flagged out here, and I got the entry on the break of the flag um, right over the top of the channel it put in, right over the flag, right over this um, daily resistance. So I bought it off of that. Plenty of support to buy off of and just started taking profit. Um, didn't get to my final target, you know, and then it pulled back, ended up taking it off. Um, and you can see it, it did turn around in about two o'clock when the market woke up. It woke up a little bit, you know, but I was in another stock anyway. But you still could have traded this. And one thing that you're going to see with all of the stocks in our watch list, most of them give multiple opportunities. So if you happen to be watching one and not the other, you still have an opportunity to get in. Um, but, you know, Baba, this was a nice, a nice trade. Um, PDD, this one, um, here was an opening range low. Here's the bottom of the channel that got put in. Here's the top of the channel. And so now we've got a defined channel. Just be patient and wait for it to break. Whether it's going to sell off and then bounce and break to the long side, or in this case, broke to the short side. I waited for confirmation. Got in. Got two targets. The The final target was, I think, down around uh, 138. I was looking for 138. Um, I would have taken some off through 140, but it didn't get there. And it ended up bouncing, so I ended up taking it off, you know, right here close to break even. And you can see this stock recovered. So, again, another nice trade. Um, not better than a base hit, not quite a home run, but a good trade nonetheless um and here plug um this one i kind of waited for it to break this was a five minute opening range low so it's later in the day we're gonna wait for it to confirm and i did think it confirmed this was on short sell restriction so i had to get it on an uptick it broke the low but i had to wait for an uptick to get in and it 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 didn't work. Um, I saw the change in momentum. I saw the shift, and I bailed out of this. Um, and again, you can see if you were just patient and waited, there were some opportunities here. Um, you had a nice window between here and the top of the channel. You could have made some money on. Um, you know, it wasn't as, as clean that you could have made money. You wouldn't have been out in the cold. So at 2 o'clock, these stocks, tended, they, they woke up and they gave us some, some really good opportunities. Um, 
Facebook. This one did pretty good for us today. Now, this is a stock I messed up on. Um, I, I, I chased this and I realized it and I just took it off. Um, but I, I could have left it on and, and got a base hit on a mistake. But I didn't want to risk it. I know Facebook can pull back very quickly. Um, and I didn't want to risk it. So I, I just went ahead and took it off. Now, had this candle come over here and not, you know, giving me any pause, I probably would have left it on and, and caught a base hit. But this was a mistake in, in execution. It didn't cost me anything, but it could have very easily cost me, you know, a couple of bucks. It was the wrong thing for me to chase. If I was going to buy off this level, I needed to wait for it to pull back, test it, and then give me a shot. Um, so this was just bad execution. Over here, again, we were able to catch this. This is when the market woke up. We were able to catch this off of the, um, the channel that it put in here. This is a micro channel but it had enough measured potential for it to be um, profitable. So I got in, yeah, it was a little bit late. I think that the latency got it because you had a flood of volatility hit the market at one time, caused a little bit of latency. So my order was delayed getting out, um, but still, you know, okay. And, you know, got, a pretty good trade here this missed me getting the top um, and, and I probably should have taken some off here but I, I didn't um, it gave me another signal here to either bail out um, but I just left it on and you know waited to see I took it off after the close I, I think I passed out here for a minute sitting in a chair and I didn't wake up till like 4.15, almost time to, to get ready for the class. And I ended up taking it off after market. But um, all in all, still a good trade. And if it wasn't for the, the bad trade out of the gate, um, it would have been a, a really decent day. Now, 4.44.18, this is okay. But it should have been a lot better day than this. Um, you know, I just... It, it wasn't a bad trade. It's just that I went in too heavy. And I gave it a little bit... I gave it the room that I needed to give it. But because I was in too heavy, I took too big of a loss out of the gate, which was about... Um, either right at 500 or maybe a little bit more than $500 when my max loss should be 300. And you know, that, that kind of got it in the hole. So being that today was like today and I had to stay patient and dig out of a hole turned out pretty good. Yesterday was a good testament of patience as well. We were pretty much flat all morning. And then waiting for the moves to, to mature and get into the, the larger potential ranges, we were able to make over a thousand dollars yesterday. And most of that came, you know, in the afternoon. So you just have to be patient and wait. Sometimes the market gives it all in the first hour. Sometimes you got to wait and take it throughout the rest of the day. So just, you know, patient, understand patience pays in the stock market. It does. And it may taste bitter waiting, but the fruit you get is very, very sweet. So you guys have a great night or a great morning. And I'll see you in a couple hours.